back here again this is the first video uh, maybe the only video i don't know yet we're going to see how the upgrades go this is the first video on the 1.5 beta feed the beast pack this is the 0 0.2 version there is a 0 0.3 and a 0 0.4 but we're having trouble downloading them i think there's an issue with them so we're on the point 0 0.2 and uh i set up a little base yesterday i was i had to go out yesterday so uh didn't have time but we started this, this was spawn i was come back to spawn just to show you where spawn was Tom did leave me a little sign here, but uh, he's took it down. But uh, he's, he's left me a little sign here. That was uh, saying welcome to the server in a way, um, with more swear words. Uh, I started on here, I had about half an hour on here yesterday. I got a couple of things made. I made my trusty pocket crafting table, crafting bench, and a stick, so I can now craft in my inventory. You can see, I've just killed a couple of skeletons on the way over here, and. Uh, uh, one of the little blue slam things that I think is added by Tinker's Construct. I'm not sure. I'm going to get into my little base I've made over here. And as I reckon a lot of people will do when they first play this pack with Nature, right? they'll probably make the first base in a big tree house. In a big tree, I mean. Um, at the minute, I've just made a little base in the bottom of here. Started setting some berries up there. We need blackberries. Um, blackberries you need a watery biome for, I think. A damp biome. But I found blueberry and I found raspberry. I'll just put them there. I'll make them into two little um, three by three blocks as they grow. Um, ignore me for now. Uh, I've got a little bit of a vanilla tree there just for some vanilla wood. And you see it. Oh, look at that secret door. <laughs> it's got a little hollowed out the inside of this. Now, these big trees are pretty awesome. They've got redwood bark on the outside. And then they've got redwood inside. So you can see where the walls are. So see where all the walls are on this side you can see where, when you're at the edge so you don't have to cut through the walls so this looks like this is just nice and sealed from the outside and down at the bottom there's also redwood roots as well which um which will be down a few floors down there because we're a little bit high up you see down here maybe uh red there you go the roots go quite deep actually the roots go right down to there so i'm gonna have a look, quick look at what mods are in the pack at the minute as you see when I cleared this out, I, um, I used some of the wood to make some ladders. Dug down to level 12. And I've got a torch down at the bottom of that, level 12. So I can do a little bit of branch mining down there. Look for some ravines or caves. Uh, at the minute, I haven't really done much at all. I've got some uh, organic stuff in there. And I've got a bit of blocks and stuff in there. And, uh, and a button that I crafted by mistake. So I've got my trusty sticks. Uh, I'll be talking about that in a minute. Materials are new by Scarlet. That's part of Tinker's Construct. I think the first thing to do is look at what we've got in the mod pack. So if I turn my NEI back on, we'll have a quick look for the mods, see what's new. Well, so yeah, there's no guarantee that this is going to not need a reset before, uh, server resets before a proper recommended version. So I'm not 100% sure how long we're going to run this for. If we can upgrade, then we may stay on here. Oh, we might have to start again. So... I'm going to tentatively call this episode 1 of season 1, but season 1 might be really short, <laughs> if that's the case. Um, so I'm not sure what the crack is yet. There's a couple of things to mention. One thing you may notice if you uh, if you uh, if you know what biomes look like. There's only, seems, there's only, well not seem definitely, there's only vanilla biomes in here at the minute. This is plains, the desert over there. There's a... Uh, some over there, but there's only vanilla biomes in, so we've not got no extra biomes or biomes of plenty i'm not sure which one we're going to get either ultimate the 1.47 version was using extra biomes excel but there's quite a lot of talk about biomes of plenty as well so i'm not sure which one we'll go with eventually but uh, i'm sure we'll be getting at least one of them well i don't think both the wet together would they i'm sure we'll be getting one of them on here at some point so any new chunks generated will be of different biomes but we're going to end up here with a big vanilla patch around spawn so don't know about that. A um, couple of things to notice. Obviously, these I believe are from Natura. As are some clouds up there above these clouds. Them clouds you can dig them up. They're they're, they're manable, and um, one of them is useful. You can drop onto it and you don't take no damage. So you could have one down at the bottom of this big tree and drop right from up there and land on it. You won't take any damage, which is pretty cool. So um, all right, let's get in here out of the way. And. Uh, See what the cracker is. That's a uh, creeper explosion there, as you might have guessed. 
Well, there's no grass there at the minute. That's the thing that they killed me. Um, right, I've got no food, but I'm alright for the minute. I've got no coal either, so I want to get some coal pretty soon. Right, let's look at the mods. So, go down our mod list here. We've got advanced solars, same as ultimate. Um, you see, it adds some more stuff now. I'm not sure if all this was in the last version I had, but recognise most of that stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if the nano hats and stuff was in 1.4 version. I don't think there was. So you see there, he's made a couple more additions by adding um, advanced solar helmets. Before there was just the ultimate solar helmet. Now there's hybrids and advanced as well, which is pretty cool. I've got my Venture Brothers skin on. Uh, if you haven't noticed, Venture Brothers back soon, I think, back in June. Looking forward to that. Right, um, so that's advanced solar panels. Applied logistics we know about. Not sure if there's much new with this. Um, Fluix Crystal, that's new. Fluix Pearl. Oh, and of course, it's a fuzzy bus, isn't they? Yeah, fuzzy export bus. Um, so I've got a little bit to learn. Precision. Cool. Um, don't see anything immediately that I don't recognise there other than them. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what Fluix is. I'm presuming you pronounce that Fluix. It sounds like looks like you pronounce it like that so uh, I'll have a look at some point what that is and uh, let's go BC Builders standard stuff and uh, the filler there is the one we use the most of of course these have never worked for ages or if they have worked I've never got them to work I know they've got they've got they've um, they, they stopped for a while because they didn't work properly but I never actually heard if they got fixed again and um, Billcraft Energy straightforward oil and fuel we see factory, there's our quarry. Cost cost with Greg Tech. This is the Greg Tech version. We need a diamond drill, which of course needs titanium plates and it needs steel plates. So all the all the usual good stuff. Because of uh, our friend Greg there. Let's backspace back out of there. Um That's called a shoot now, is that thought was that called a hopper before? Of course this is one point five, so we've got the vanilla hopper as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll be looking at using that in some builds because you can add them onto the size of the machines instead of just on the top. Uh, we've got BC Silicon, still the same as before with the laser crafting. Transport should all be pretty much the same as it was, yeah. All looking the same, good stuff. Oh, pipe plugs, they're quite useful. Um, a pipe plug you can use. Got no recipe for that. No, got no recipe for that. I think that's made in the in the laser crafting table and you can put that on a pipe to stop it connecting to other pipes which is pretty useful so that's new i'm um, not sure if there's anything else everything else conveyor belt oh, that's new as well not sure what that is cool um let's keep going then bibliocraft some new stuff in bibliocraft if you've seen die wolf's spotlight of it there's um you can print books and stuff there's a printing press Typesetting, you need to use a monocle or glasses to be able to see stuff in that. Also, a tape measure, which is pretty nice. And um, redstone book, that's kind of nice. You can have a bookshelf, and with a redstone book, and it'll put out a redstone signal, so you could have it connected to a door, like a piston door. So you could actually take out the redstone book to open the piston door. Very, very secret passage like, very cool. I like the idea of that. And uh, we've got Binny Car in here, cool. Ah, okay. Didn't know we had Binny Car in this. Didn't know we had extra bees in, but we've got the frame housings and stuff in there. Nice. Um, wonder if I messed up somehow. I uh, didn't think we had that in this version, but it looks like we must have. Okay. Let's run through these a bit quicker. So we don't want to be really there. We've also got compact solars as well as advanced solars. So that's the ones that just add things a bit different. Um, I don't know, I, I presume in Ultimate we had the Advanced and I think the Die Wolf Pack had the Compact. Not sure what we'll end up with or if we'll end up with both. Because I think you could do either, there's no, there's no reason why you can't have both in there. I don't think the conflict, so that's cool. Computer Craft, well, I don't really touch a lot of that, so I won't know what I was looking at anyway. So I'm just going to skip that. End of Storage, same as usual, chest, tanks and uh, pouches. Quick Exchange has got a bit more added to it since uh, we last saw it. We've got these things, the Loodles. And calcinator. At least the rest are in there, the recipe. Alchemical chest. Clicking on these didn't give me a recipe, so I'm not sure if they're craftable. Of course the minium stone is. Um 
not getting anything else if I click on anything else. But I've seen that on Forgecraft on Diewolf's channel. It was a light thing as part of that. So I'm not sure what the crack there is. Extra utilities. This is new and very cool. Some really nice things in this. One of the things that I like is the angel block. You can place that in the air. So if you want to build some kind of floating castle, whatever, you can just fly off. Obviously, if you've got a jetpack. And you can use that to place the first block in the end and build off that. So that's what the angel block does. Really nice. Uh, another thing that I like out of this is compressed cobblestone. Pretty cool. Nan cobblestone will compress into a compressed. And that'll go all the way to octuple compressed cobblestone, which is 43 million cobblestone in one block, which is kind of cool. Very nice. Um, next thing, sound muffler pretty nice if you've seen on my if you've watched well if you've had any kind of farm you'll get quite irritated by cows and stuff always making a bloody noise place a sound muffler near them it'll it's like an AOE sound muffler block so you won't have to hear the cows nice I guess rain muffler does the same for rain trading post nice as well you um, place that in an NPC village and any NPC within range of it it'll show you their trades in there so you don't have to go looking for individual individual NPCs Sweet. And what else is this? That I don't know everything in this, by the way. So the blackout curtains, pretty cool. You can walk through them and the stop light going through. And then the trash can is quite well thought of. I believe there you go, trash can. You can make a trash can and throw things in it and it'll get rid of them, I believe. And there's some things in this that I've heard seem quite overpowered, but I'm um, not, sure what, not sure what the overpowered things are. But some nice stuff added by that mod. Peaceful table, I think, is if you're in peaceful mode, you can actually use that to spawn mobs on purpose if you want to get mobs for certain drops. As far as I understand, that's what I think that peaceful mode's for. That's new, that's, and that's cool. Factorization, not sure if we've got anything new there. I'm going to skip that for now. I'll, you know I love my pocket crafting table, and I love routers. So we'll be uh, using them at some point. Uh, forestry. New stuff added to forestry. Um, now, as far as you understand it, the way some of these things, um, you've got to be careful. Oh, yeah, cool. We've got all the, we've got all the uh, bee stuff there. So we've definitely got extra bees in this. We've also got the butterflies now as well, which is cool. And um, now, if you put too many upgrades in Alviary, you can lose your princess. It'll become a, a swarmer. So you've got to be careful, you can't over mutate or over uh, or force too much production out of them. So that's also pretty cool as well. Lots of lots of mods missing, but the mods we've got have got lots of good stuff. So looking good. Gravity Gun, same. Greg Tech's probably got loads more stuff added. Um because he adds stuff every other day, I think. And doesn't document it very well, you know. Um there's plenty of stuff in here that I probably won't recognise. There's uh, there's books as well. I don't actually see any of them there, but there's um, books explaining some stuff. There's a microwave oven that cooks food quicker that I think I've seen. So we'll skip all all that crazy guy stuff for now, because obviously that's quite a bit further on. Uh, IC2. Good to have IC2 in the pack. It was uh, looking a bit ropey for a while there. there a lot of crashes based on IC2, I believe. Um, then machine mules, modular power suits, this has changed a bit in the previous versions you had the kinetic generators and the solar panels well they seem to be gone so you have to, you have to upgrade up to, to actually charge your armor up rather than being able to run around and using the kinetic generator to keep it full um, some different modules that you can add onto your power tool and stuff power tool has Loads of extra modules you can add, like shears and uh, omni tool and um, lux capacitor, which is kind of awesome. It, um, you can use it to throw lights at a wall, they look like that. Really nice looking stuff. So I'll be making one of them at some point. Pretty well, some of them I can really. If you look at the recipes. It's uh, Greg Tech recipes, fun. So we've got the. <laughs> We've got the fun recipe, so that is definitely an end game suit in this version. Uh, end game gear completely, because um, obviously not going to get aluminium, so we've got an industrial blast furnace. Force filling it needs tungsten steel. Yeah, heavy stuff. 
iridium plates for the iron thruster. So that's really is an end game set in this. So we have to have a look, see which is better, going up for the nano suit path to quantum, or going that path, or maybe doing a bit of both. Which is cool because I've always liked my nano suits and stuff, but um, the cheapness of these in recent versions has made it so that it's just miles easier to go straight for power suits. Well, let's keep going. Next up, Minecraft Man Factory Reloaded. Becoming pretty much everyone's favourite mod really quick because Power Crystals has loads of awesome stuff. Um, some new things, of course, is the Red Net, which is similar to Red Power 2 wireless, uh, wiring and logic. Really cool stuff. Um, doesn't seem to be a doesn't seem to be a recipe for the controller there, but there's a recipe for the wire cable and. Uh, don't know what else there is new. There's there the upgrades for the controller there. Cool stuff. Looking forward to getting into some of that. Controller housing. Okay, let's say you make the controller housing, then maybe put something in it, because I've got a recipe for the controller housing. Which is similar to the white oops. Meat block there. Mmm, lovely. Uh, so there's your controller housing. Uh, and is that what you make the controller out of? I'll have a look at that at some point. We'll definitely be using that quite a lot, to be honest. Looking forward to seeing what that can do for us. Um, vanilla stuff there, as you'd expect. So there's obviously the, the new hopper and stuff will be in here, I guess. Um, comparator, I've got no idea what that does. Oh, here's some books. There we go, look. There's some Greg Tech books. Cover up. That'll be, these, that'll be the Greg Tech covers, I guess. Crop dictionary. Upgrade dictionary for, for Greg. Um, microwave oven manual. Some good stuff there, and there's also, there you go, there the PRC is Power Crystals one for the um, Red Net. I'm not sure what PFF is, Denothians, and I'm not sure what, there was one there by Kenny, Mr. Kenny, Crop Dictionary, the IC2 crops probably. Pretty cool, looking forward to having a look at them. Um, would I recognise a hopper if I saw one? There's one. There's the vanilla hopper that you can add to the side of the machines, looking good. And then, let's keep going. This proof rules obviously is for turtle stuff, which I don't really touch on because I'm a worst coder ever. Considering I've, I did a lot of studying to learn to code, I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Well, I don't hate it, I just, I can read code, I just really don't like writing it. Um, modular force field system, now this I think is an alien version. There's, there, was, there was some drama with this, it got split into two, but this is the version that's very similar to the previous version, we had the Thunderdark version. So it's all the same blocks and stuff. I pretty much recognise everything there. Looking at stuff, so I'll be using that, I like MFFS, it's really nice. So that looks, that's looking good. Oops. Um, yeah, that's definitely, the, that's definitely the version that's stayed true to the original vision i think the other version the one that's part of universal electricity is the guy made the source private source code private and um and changed where it worked quite a lot so this is what this is a, the new version that's like the old version if you will that i think is made by minalian and sage um let's keep going nature that's what's added this tree that we're in for a start it adds the berry bushes. There you see, that's where I looked for a blackberry bush when I was on the other day and I couldn't find one. It says found in wet areas, so I need to look for a swamp, I think, for a blackberry bush. If you combine the three berries together with a wooden bowl, you get a thing called a berry medley, which is meant to be very good food. There it is. Berry medley, irresistible combination of berries. That's meant to have very good hunger saturation, which means you stay full for a long time. And you can see, this adds quite a lot of stuff. Fuse wood, ghost wood. And it has loads of different types of doors as well, which is pretty cool. That's a door we've got in our base there. That looks just like, it's made out of redwood bark, so it looks just like the bark. There's also fire resistant, ghost wood, which I think see-through. Some nice different door options, because doors are generally pretty boring, aren't they? And loads of different types of wood and stuff. Good stuff, good, good looking mod. Let's see what it has to offer. Um, let's keep going. Obsidian pressure plates. Ooh, look at that. Cool. So he's added a bit more to that. Silent pressure plate. Before there was just the pressure plate, wasn't they? And it's the pressure plate is the one that doesn't 
let mobs um, turn on and off. Shrouded, I like the sound of that, does that mean it's invisible? Shrouded and silent, that sounds impressive. If that's invisible, I've wanted an invisible pressure plate for ages. Because as much as the obsidian ones look alright, and the wooden ones, and the stone ones do, I'd like to have no no visible one there. Like the one from Secret Doors, the air. Uh, but one that actually places it on a block rather than is a block. So that, if it's, if that's what shrouded means, I'm looking forward to using that. There's a couple of different designs. And, man, that's, that's maybe what shrouded means, I'm not sure. Cool, looking forward to that. We like that. What's, what was that made out of again? Glowstone and nether quartz. Oh, cool, so that's nether quartz getting put into uh, recipes. Me like. So wool and pressure plate. And the pressure plate is just two obsidian. Good stuff. We like, we like. Omni tools, always good. Love my Omni tool. One of my favourite tools in the game. So you can add that to your power tool now as well. Uh, it doesn't seem to work on everything that I've tried it on, but it works on most things. That's, again, for turtles by the look of it. I'm guessing CC, computer craft. So I, I won't be touching that probably. We'll skip that for now. Jesus. Barrels, eh? Liquid barrels. Cool. Well, what's they old? Nice. Um, portal gun. It's still got the emancipation field. No, it's actually... No, oh, no, it's still there. Look, still not finished. <laughs> That's not been finished forever. Um, that cool mod. Add some good stuff and some fun stuff. Real craft. One thing I'm really looking forward to in real craft is instead of just iron tank walls, we've now got steel tank walls, which holds double the amount of liquid pair block as iron does. Obviously, it uses steel instead of iron. But um, and you can colour all these now as well, which is also really cool. As you can see there, they're, they're black ones. Look covered with um, putting them around the block. It'll change the colour of them. Really sweet. So where is your basic tank before? Was it a 3x3x5? Three by three by it'd be 720 buckets. Now it'll be 1400 buckets. So more storage in a small space. I like that a lot. I, like, I do like these iCraft tanks, but I really like the fact that you can make these quite small still, especially now with the steel. You can make a really nice small tank, like a 3x3x3, three by three by three, and that'll still hold quite a lot of liquid. Certainly enough to warm a boiler up, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if that's new. Void chest. Is that new? That's never seen it before. Um, I think there's some other stuff being added. Yeah, some nice um, some nice bricks. I believe the quarried stuff comes from certain biomes and the abyssal stuff comes from the bottom of ocean biomes, I think, underwater. Uh, also added bricks like the no what you make the blast furnace out of and the coke oven actual decorative bricks that look like that as well yeah some nice decorative stuff in there we like more decorative stuff that's all good make nice looking bases we're nearly at the end and i'm actually do something instead of just talking but uh steve's cats very good mod um change a few things made it a bit more a bit so you've got to put a bit more work into it you can't just sleep you can't just build a farm and forget it like you could in previous versions you have to you need to upgrade to the better version to do that the better great versions of the of the carts i might be skipping that because i like mfr mfr seems a bit easier and but i'm not saying more fun but uh a lot of people don't use these carts for the fullest it can do miles more stuff than i've ever used it for i've only ever used it for a tree farm i think a lot of people have never used it for a tree farm uh, I might try and get into that at some point. Try and look for something, get something more of that. Found Crash, pretty much the same as the last version. I think there's been a couple of editions. Possibly. Who's that guy? Decanting Golem. I think he's new. Not seen him before. Or is that just a Golem molding? We'll see. We'll see what he got. I think that might be new. I think there's like a jetpack and some blocks being added, but I don't see any of them there, so they might not actually be in. There you go, there's a jetpack, thermostatic harness. It's like a, a jetpack analogue that you can use to fly around using Aura. You, have, you put um, a jar full of, is it Motus in it, I think? Possibly Motus, it would make sense if it was Motus, wouldn't it? Uh, I thought there was like some blocks as well, but I don't see them there. But I don't see, oh, because I'm not going all the way through. Fool. Um, 
See if there's anything I don't recognise. Let's have a look. There we go, paving stone. That's the block I was thinking of. I think you can. You, it speeds up your movement, so you can make paths like that, and you'll get gradually quicker on it. So you can move around pretty quick. Farmcraft's a big favourite of mine. Farmic B is also very cool. There's also going to be um, Farmic Tinker added to this mod according to Slowpoke's Twitter. So that'll be getting added to this. Farmic Tinker can add, adds loads of really cool stuff. If you want to see about that, check out Marty Plays YouTube channel. And he's got a video on there showing all the cool stuff that that adds. That's real nice. Twilight Forest always gets more stuff added to it. Um, fun place to go, especially on a server. Fun place to go with friends, especially if you haven't got real good armor. Just go there with like standard armor and see how far you get. It's pretty cool. Family expansion, another solid mod. Some new stuff added to this, I believe. We've got cost is as the uh, energized glowstone and stuff, liquid glowstone that floats upwards, which is why that bucket's upside down because glowstone flows upwards. Brilliant idea, brilliant idea. Um, glowstone illuminator. Yeah, liquid, flowable liquid stuff. Really cool stuff, really cool. One of the best mods in the in the, in Minecraft, I think. Thermal expansion. Tinker's Constructs is the other big one that I've not played with yet. If you watch Diewall's channel, you'll see quite a bit of this. You make tools and weapons using casts. Um, I did notice I had a little look in Creative the other day, and I found an NPC village, and that had the smeltery, the um, Tinker's Construct smeltery in, a, in an NPC village. So it might be worth looking for an NPC village. I'm not sure how much they cost to actually make. You use them seared bricks. Um, grout, so you need grout then. And grout you need clay, gravel and sand, so if you haven't got a good source of clay, it might be worth looking for an NPC village to get started. And in the smeltery you make liquid metals that you can make all this stuff. I don't understand a lot of it, but uh, <laughs> there's a lot to it. And that is what this book is. That's the, the, the book you get when you first log in. It'll give you a couple of things to get you going with that. And there's the grout that we just saw. And it shows you how to make the smeltery. You see there's quite a few things going to the smeltery. So yeah, NPC village might help you there. So that's a big list of mods. Um, I think now I'm going to go do a bit of what you have to do when you start any Minecraft game. And that's start getting some materials so we can start making some stuff. Oh, there's one of the Atura, um, is it Tinker's Constructs Slam? I think... I think it's Tinker's Constructs that had this. Is that a skeleton I can hear? Yep. 1.5 skeletons. Do more damage. I've only um, experienced these in the uh, Super Hostile to now. And they're a pain in the ass in the Super Hostile. We'll see what they're like in this. Sun's going down. I'm going to go out of my house. I'm going to cut the video there. Uh, I'll probably do that. I'll probably finish this episode there, just like a little introduction episode. We've got a little base. I'm going to do some mining off camera, get some resources, start making some stuff. Well, it's going for the mods that we've got at the minute. Of course, more mods, more mods will be getting added. And uh, we'll see what what gets added and uh, we'll start making stuff. But um, yeah, for this episode, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.